Amen. Yeah, I mean, a win is a win. Uh, we're definitely going to take it. Uh, not our best basketball by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, the 23 turnovers to 29 points, and, and some of them were just so careless. Um, just a complete um, lack of any valuing of the basketball. Um, to your point, 41 points in the fourth quarter, 30 in the third. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just thankful the game's over and nobody got hurt, and we won. Honestly, like, that was... Uh, Nothing to be gained from that game, and uh, we didn't create any good habits. I understand, as I told the team after the game, I understand that this is a really tough time of the year, coming off a really tough back-to-back, -back, but uh, we have to find a way to be better. I mean, uh, I was losing my mind in the first half at our turnovers, taking multiple timeouts, jumping guys at halftime. Um, it was just one of those nights, you know, but thankfully, uh, in the end, we were able to get the win, and uh, uh, that's really all that matters. Yeah, I mean, it was. Um, it speaks to our depth. I, I think it speaks to us having a really talented team. Um, you know, I told our guys at halftime. I think we had eight assists at halftime, um, and a lot of turnovers, a lot of points off turnover. That, that's not who we are. Eight assists, um, and no disrespect to the Orlando Magic, but you know, we're not talking about the steal a curtain over there. And it was, you know, just us not playing our game. Uh, so second half, we did a much better job. Seventeen assists in the half. That's who we are, Katie. And when we share the ball, everybody gets involved. Uh, I felt the second unit had some good stretches. Uh, now the key is, can we sustain that? You know, I mean, it was uh, it was really good. And then it wasn't so good. Can we find a way to sustain it? And um, you know, but yeah, a lot of guys got involved. Uh, Nicola was, um, you know, 26 and 15. Uh, I, I thought Bryn Forbes off the bench gets 16 points. Uh, and Jeff Green's playing at a high level for us. I thought Jeff in Toronto was great. And they had another really good game tonight. Yeah, I think overall, I mean, um, I thought Jamichael and Demarcus played really well together off of each other. Uh, if you're a shooter like Bryn Forbes, you have to love playing with Jamichael and Demarcus. Uh, those are two physical bigs who are not afraid to set screens. Um, and that's all you want as a shooter. You just want some separation. And those two guys are able to create separation for that. Um, you know, obviously, Faku, Austin doing their jobs. You know, Faku had, uh, you know, five assists, five points, getting guys involved. So, um, yeah, it's, again, man, like, it's, I can sit here and try to BS my way through this. We didn't play great tonight. We won the game, That's and that's all I can say. Yeah, I mean, because I haven't seen DeMarcus roll in, like, four years. You know what I mean? So... Uh, like I told him after the game, he goes, yeah, you haven't seen that in a minute. I said, a minute, like a minute, minute, um, you know, but like when he, you know, you can see all the guys on our bench, like, even you know, on the court and on the bench, how much they're like rooting for DeMarcus, which is really neat for me. Like, you know, just from a personal level, from a family atmosphere type of a thing, like here's DeMarcus who four time all-star out of the league. I w shouldn't be the case. And he's here with us. He's found a home. And uh, I love him, and, and I think you can see all the teammates when he has a play like that, whether it's blocking a shot, rolling and dunking, uh, hitting a three, you can feel the energy. Um, and, you know, I come back on the plane the other night from Toronto. Like, Katie probably heard him from, like, DeMarcus is a personality. He's a loud personality. And we need that. It reminds me of when we had Isaiah Thomas, IT. IT was a, a, a loud personality, which I love, because we don't have a lot of that. And then I was thinking about how I coached both those guys together many years ago that was a lot of personality uh but no i i think you know I, i'm happy for demarcus and he's as he continues to get in shape and get healthier i, I think he's just going to keep getting better and better Yeah, I think um, part of the issue, uh, and this is no excuse, uh, I will say in a player's defense, I think part of the issue has been um, such an inconsistent second unit. What I mean by that is, like, game by game, we have a different second unit throughout the season. I mean, guys are in and out of the lineup with injuries, with COVID, 
And so it's really hard for a second unit to get into a real rhythm because that second unit changes periodically. So that's one thing I think has been part of that. Um, and then aside from that, it's, it's probably a little bit of all the above. Complacency, oh, we're up big. And just uh, like I, I said to you guys before, my father texts me every night. Anytime you guys get a big lead, I start to worry because we, we give it back. You know, it's, it's just a lack of focus, a lack of urgency, whatever it might be. Um, and we've seen it time and time again. And, and our first half, Brian, to second half numbers speak to that. So, I mean, I can't deny it. It's real. It's black and white. The numbers bear it out. So uh, we have Golden State. And then after that, coming out of the break, we have 24 games to go. Can we find a way to, to be more consistent quarter to quarter, half to half, game to game? That's our challenge. What do you want to see outside of the last week, basically? I want, I want to see, you know, like I, I said to him at halftime, I say, hey, fellas, man, all-star break starts on Thursday. Like, you know, it's, you know, get your minds back, get your body back, get your energy back. Uh, so what I'm hoping tomorrow is let's go to Golden State. They're a great team, uh, one of the tougher places to play in the NBA. Uh, go out there and compete, play hard, and have fun. And let's see where that takes us. Uh, we, we know it's a hell of a challenge going into their gym, but, uh, you know, we're, we're playing, I think we're seven games over 500 now. We're, we're playing pretty good basketball ourselves. And uh, we've beaten that team on the road in their building. A lot of guys were out for both teams. I understand that. But I just want to go in there and compete. I want to be present. Be present. Have the ability to be mentally tough enough to be present in the moment. And then when the game is over, then we can kind of pull the cord and relax and get ready for our break, but not before. Thank you. Thank you.